Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on AM versus FM. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and the follow-up questions on Google Forms. Okay, so last time we talked about this idea of how we use radio waves to communicate. Namely, um, and this could be somebody singing, this could also be a text message, it could really be anything, just any information. But first, we have to turn that information into an electronic form. Now, not digital necessarily, but electronic, so just meaning uh, an electrical signal. So we use a microphone to turn a sound wave into an electronic form of that sound wave, where it's just a varying voltage, etc. So we capture it, turn it into an electronic signal. We then combine that signal with a radio's carrier wave, so the frequency the radio broadcasts out on, to create a new version of that wave, where both of those are kind of joined together. I like to think of it as we piggyback the signal wave on top of the carrier wave. We then use a radio broadcast tower or antenna of some sort to broadcast that message out. And then on the receiving end, they take that carrier wave and they subtract it out of the combined wave. So here we kind of use the idea that you can um, do the opposite and kind of subtract that um, carrier wave out. And what's left is the signal wave or the original kind of um, electronic signal in this case. Then that's just played out via a speaker. Or if this is a text message, it's shown on a screen, things along those lines. So that's the basics of how we use radio waves to communicate. And this is for Wi-Fi, this is for text messages and cell phones, this is for um, cordless phones, this is for uh, radio, really any form of modern communication in that sense. All right. So normally, though, if we think back to kind of the first radios, those are tend to be the ones like the ones in our car. And we have two bands. We have an AM and we have an FM band. Now, there are other ways that we can use radio um, or use wireless communication to communicate. It doesn't have to be AM and FM. But these are two common ways, and they frame our ways of thinking about it. So AM actually stands for amplitude modulation. Modulation is just a fancy word for changing or um, a way to uh, modify in a, in a sense. So here we have the original audio signal, kind of a very simple sine wave. And we have the original carrier, so the radio's carrier frequency. This might be the 105.3 or the 94.9 or 88.5 or whatever frequency it is that you're trying to broadcast out on. Now, well, granted all those were FM frequencies. But anyway, so we have the carrier's frequency, we have the audio wave. Now to s combine them, we don't combine them in terms of how you normally would think of it like we did before, um, but instead what we do is we take the original carrier wave, we keep its frequency the same, and instead we change its amplitude. So instead of being a consistent note, or not consistent note, a consistent uh, loudness or amplitude or um, sh signal strength, we have that uh, changing in terms of the amplitude and the strength in that sense, and we encode that um, audio into that changing amplitude. Uh, so that's where the information is sent out. And then on the other end, it instead of looking at the frequency of the carrier, it just uses that to tune in, and what it does is it just measures, okay, is the amplitude going up, is it going down, is it staying constant, and that will determine what the audio signal is doing. So that's what amplitude modulation is. Take a second to go ahead and pause this video, write that down, because that might have been a lot of information. All right. Well, given that that's amplitude modulation, let's look at another example. Here we have a signal again, just a nice simple sine wave, and we can see that amplitude modulation, or AM, is where we have the amplitude of our wave changing to mimic the signal. What do you think FM does? So what do you think it stands for? How do you think it works? If you have a neighbor near you who's watching this video at the same time, uh, then go ahead and pause and chat with your neighbor about it for a second, see if you can figure it out. Otherwise, at least just think to yourself. All right, so if AM is amplitude modulation and we can see the amplitude of this wave is changing, FM stands for frequency modulation. And we can actually see that the frequency of this wave is changing. So what happens here is um, instead of encoding the signal on the amplitude of the wave, we change the frequency of the wave, or the signal station that you're tuning into, uh, in order to represent what's happening to the signal. Now, this means that you're going to have to use a wider band of frequencies because it's not a consistent frequency, which means it's going to take up more space in our spectrum. Um, but that's a more complicated issue, but just know that that is true in this case. 
So frequency modulation, or FM radio, sends the signal by changing the frequency. AM radio, or amplitude modulated radio, sends the signal by changing the amplitude. Now, neither AM nor FM is as simple as just adding the waves, but it works in a similar way. So it's not like we did before where we were just able to add the amplitudes. Um, it's more complicated than that. But know that it's possible, and with uh, the electronics we have, we're able to do it fairly easily. That's it. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms, please.